Tenatato Kato, good evening. Police are looking into another incident at the Huntley home of Te Pāti Māori's candidate Hana Rafati Maipi Clark. They acknowledge the incidents will have been unsettling for the 21-year-old, but say they don't believe they constitute a home invasion. The National Party supporter at the centre of the latest allegation has been trespassed. But in an exclusive interview with Isabel Ewing, he claimed it's all a misunderstanding. Graham Gunn, or Gunny to his mates, was playing a bowls tournament today. He's baffled he's been accused of being a home invader. Gutted that someone hasn't done their homework. Te Pāti Māori President John Tamahiri went on AM claiming an elderly Pākehā man had entered the home of 21-year-old candidate Hanarafati Maipi Clark. He walks straight up to the door, enters, he then says because he gets sprung by an occupant, because one of the whānau um, uh, was there to look after the property. And that person said to him, you know, what, what the F are you doing here? Uh, get the F out. Tamahiri claims that whānau member followed the man back to Gunny's property, which had a number of National Party signs. Gunny was watching that AM interview at the time, and it caught his attention. And I thought, I think they're talking about me, because I, I've actually got a a party sign on my section that's been damaged as well but no, no way would I ever do anything to Pana. I, you know, I don't care who I vote for, I still wish her the best luck. And... Gunny's side of the story is that he was impressed by Maipi Clark at a local candidates meeting. I thought she presented herself well you know, and I, I, I wanted to wish her all the best being such a young person and getting into politics and especially a Maori girl. So he went around to her house to tell her. I went in and um, just knocked on the door and that was the right house, that's where she lived. So I met her husband and had a talk to him. Um, Hannah was in bed. He, he went to get her and she was asleep so I just went home. You know, I don't take that story. No, I would question the integrity of that statement. Gunny and his wife are both long-time national supporters and he says there was no malicious intent when he went to see Maipi Clark. I'd love her to get into Parliament because those are the sort of people who want some young people with some good ideas. Maipi Clark declined an interview but her campaign manager Brad Totorewa is doubting Gunn's defence. Basically it was an uninvited entry into Hannah's house. Police couldn't contact Gunny today because he was playing bowls, but he was dismayed to hear police will issue him a trespass notice. I reckon it's stupid. The, the, the police should come round and see me and find out a bit about me, perhaps. And he had something to say to John Tamahiri. Tell him to get his facts right before he spouts his mouth off. Facts that neither side can agree on. Well, Isabel Ewing joins us now live from Huntley. Isabel, we understand that the police have just visited Graham Gunn. That's right, Sam. I've actually just got off the phone a short time ago with Gunny's wife, Ginny, who confirmed to me that police have issued that trespass notice late this afternoon. We've also heard from Waikato Police about a number of other allegations relating to incidents at Hannah Rafferty's house. Now, just to be clear, these other incidents are completely separate to Gunny's visit. They include reports of an alleged burglary and receipt of a threatening note. And, of course, Hannah Rafferty spoke publicly last week about having her home invaded. Now police say that they have investigated and while they understand any incident involving people coming onto your property is unsettling, they do not believe the incidents have been racially motivated nor do they constitute a home invasion. Now we've also spoken to John Tamahiri this afternoon. He stands by their account of what happened between Gunny and Hannah and as for the police response to the other incidents at her home, he says that it's a whitewash. Now Sam, we've just had a response through uh, a, a statement through from the National Party, so bear with me as I bring it up. They have said an elderly member of the National Party has, has had grossly exaggerated allegations made about them by people involved with Te Pāti Māori, saying it is incredibly disappointing and unsettling for this individual to be dragged into a political stunt like this. OK, Isabel Ewing there live from the Huntley Police Station, Tēnā